let's go and take a look at this problem. Uh, tangent of sine inverse equals negative 1 half. So again, um, when you guys have a composition of functions, remember we're going to work from the inside out, right? We did multiple examples here. So let's hopefully maybe try to do this in our head, maybe. So we think, what? remember, this, rep, this is asking us the sine of what angle is equal to negative 1 half, right? So we know that if neg sine is negative, it has to be in the third or the fourth quadrants. Since it's the sine inverse, it has to be restricted within the first and the fourth quadrants. So I can't use this angle. I can't use that angle. I have to do that angle, right? So then we're thinking, well, the sine of what angle then gives us 1 half, and then we just flip it for the fourth quadrant. So sine of what gives us positive 1 half? Yes, I didn't hear? Pi over 6. But I don't want to go the positive version. I need to do the negative, negative version. So that's equal to, yes, pi over 6. So now I'm taking the tangent of pi over 6. And again, if this point is reflected, we have square root of 3 over 2 comma negative 1 half. And then if the tangent is the y coordinate over the x coordinate, hopefully you guys know this simplified is square root of 3 over 3. If you haven't done enough practice and you need to work it out, then that's what you're going to have to do. Multiply by the reciprocal, rationalize the denominator, you get negative square root of 3 over 3. Okay, But we've covered that multiple times, so that's why I'm not going to cover that. Right? So that hopefully should make sense, because that's what we've already covered. 